Fukushima, northeast Japan. This is as close as you can get to the site of a partial nuclear meltdown six months ago. But the events still unfolding here have consequences for us all. Energy is the lifeblood of our civilization. But where it comes from and how we get it is something that touches all our lives. It's also, I think, one of the most important questions for science. We all need an energy supply that's reliable, but it also has to be safe. Around the world, many questions are now being asked about nuclear power. Some countries are looking to abandon it. But what lessons should we learn from the events at Fukushima? What I love most about Tokyo is the nighttime. That's when the city comes alive with such energy. That's when it glows so brightly. But it's not glowing so brightly tonight. Things just don't look the way they normally do. By night, unnecessary lights are turned off. By day, machines stand stationary. And people resist turning on their air conditioning. A country for whom using energy has become as natural as breathing air, suddenly, very uncomfortably, must hold its breath. And that's because since the earthquake and tsunami struck over 100 miles away, electricity use has been rationed here. 